वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग क्रिएशन टुडे वी विल सोल्व अ सिंपली स्पोर्टेड बीम विद रेपिजोडल लोडिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कैलकुलेट द स्पोर्ट रिएक्शन देन वी विल परफॉर्म द इक्वेलिब्रियम चेक एंड एट दिन वी विल ड्रॉ फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम विद द हेल्प ऑफ इक्वेजन्स आई विल शेयर डिफरेंट फार्मूलाज that will help you to find the sport reaction for simply sported beam with trapezoidal loading let's start the calculation of reaction forces here you can see we have a beam of 8 meter length with trapezoidal loading at a that will be 3 kN per meter that will be increasing uniformly up to b that is 6 kN per meter so if we divide this loading into two parts then we have this load with of rectangular load of 3 kN per meter and a triangular load of 3 kN per meter as well so this will be the udl of 3 kN per meter up to 8 meters plus the triangular load of 3 kN per meter up to the 8 meter as well so we will find separately both the reactions a1 a2 p1 b2 and and then we will add them both to get ra and rb so let's start the calculation of sport reactions a1 and b1 i will use the formulas for the calculation of these reactions if you want a detail explanation for a simply sported beam with udl you can go in the description link is in description you can watch a detailed video of udl so this is the formula for a1 that is wl by 2 which will be 12 kN and for b1 that will be wl by 2 as well so both reactions are same similarly we will calculate the sport reactions a2 and b2 for triangular loading again if you want a detailed explanation for the triangular loading you can go and watch link is in description but here i will use the formulas for the calculation of triangular loading for a2 that will be wl by 6 the reaction will be 4 kN and for b2 this will be wl by 3 so the reaction is 8 kN so now i will add a1 and a2 to get ra that is 16 kN and similarly for rb b1 plus b2 that is 20 kN if you want to calculate sport reactions ra and rb you can use these two formulas as well w1 is 3 kN per meter and w2 is 6 kN per meter with length 8 meter let's perform an equilibrium check for that we will use the condition of equilibrium that is summation of all the vertical forces will be zero so we will consider the upward forces as positive and the downward forces as negative here we have two upward forces ra and rb here you can see we have 16 plus 20 but this minus sign is for this trapezoidal loading for the calculation of this trapezoidal load we will use the formula for area of trapezoidal that will be 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides these two are the parallel sides 3 kN per meter and 6 kN per meter into the perpendicular side that will be 8 meters so here you can see we have summation which will be equals to 0 it means our sport reactions are correct let's draw a free body diagram here we have a beam ab of 8 meter length with trapezoidal loading of 3 kN per meter at a and 6 kN per meter at b with sport reactions ra and rb 16 kN and 20 kN respectively let's draw a shear force diagram for that we will use shear force equation so let's drive a shear force equation first 
we will find shear force at distance x here you can see we have ra this is the support reaction ra in the upward direction minus for this trapezoidal loading and this is the total trapezoidal loading that we have calculated with the help of the formula of area of trapezoidal 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides 3 kilo newton and this w x into the perpendicular distance that is x so let's understand what is w x here you can see we have a loading at b that is up to this mark this is 3 kilo newtons per meter and this is totally uniformly distributed load but above this you can see at b we have 6 kilo newton per meter the total will be 3 plus 3 total will be 6 kilo newton per meter but at this point at distance x we do not know the load so we will consider this load as wx so now let's calculate this wx here you can see this udl is 3 kilo newton per meter now let assume this is y so we will consider it wx which is equals to y plus 3 now let's calculate y for that we will consider this triangular portion we will compare these two triangles because we have similar slope we can compare them for that we will compare this smaller triangle that is perpendicular over base y over x into the bigger triangle that is 3 over 8 so here you can see the y will be 3 over 8 x now put this y into the second equation that is 3 over 8 x plus 3 for wx now we have calculated the value of wx now let's put this wx in our general equation after that we will simplify this equation by multiplying 1 over 2 and x into it our general equation for shear force will be 16 minus 3x minus 3x square over 16 you can find the value of wx with the help of this formula as well let's draw a shear force diagram by finding shear force at three different points here we have a beam ab first of all we will calculate the shear at a point where x will be 0 so by putting x 0 in this shear force equation our shear force will be 16 kilonewton at a so let's draw a line of 16 kilonewton at a in upward direction now calculate the shear force at b where x is 8 so by putting x is equals to 8 in this shear force equation our shear force will be minus 20 kilonewton so let's draw a 20 kilonewton line in downward direction because this is minus 20 kilonewton here you can see we have 16 kilonewton shear force at a and minus 20 kilonewton at b it means there must be a value of x where shear force will be 0 so let's calculate the distance where shear force will be 0 for that we will put vx is equals to 0 and simplify this equation to get the value of x where shear force will be 0 so by simplifying this equation we will get this quadratic equation now we will use the quadratic formula to get the value of x by putting the values in this quadratic formula with this plus sign our value of x will be 4.22 meter this is the value where shear force will be 0 and bending moment will be maximum so now join 16 kilonewton and this 20 kilonewton by passing through this point 
where the shear force is zero. At this point, shear force will be zero and bending moment will be maximum. Let's calculate the bending moment and draw the bending moment diagram. For that, we will drive the bending moment equation first, which is quite simple. Just multiply this shear force equation with the moment arm to get the bending moment equation. Here you can see we have taken moment at this point x. So for Ra or you can say for this 16 kN, the moment arm will be the x and this is positive because this is moving in clockwise direction and for minus 3x minus 3x is actually the this UDL that is acting in anticlockwise direction and acting from the centroid that will be x by 2 and this is the moment arm for this UDL. So here you can see minus sign is because it is in anticlockwise direction 3x is the total UDL and x by 2 is the moment arm for this UDL and this minus sign is for this triangular loading which is also in the anticlockwise direction and 3x square over 16 is the total load that is acting from the centroid that is x by 3 at shorter edge. So by simplifying this equation we will get our bending moment equation which is 16x minus 3x square over 2 minus x cube over 16. So let's calculate the bending moment and draw the bending moment diagram. We will calculate the bending moment at sport A and then at sport B and then we will calculate the maximum bending moment. At A the x is 0 so the bending moment will be 0. At B where x is 8 meter by putting 8 in this equation our bending moment is again 0. So now let's calculate the maximum bending moment where the shear force is 0 so the x will be 4.22 meter so now we will put x which is equals to 4.22 meter where the maximum where the bending moment will be maximum so our maximum bending moment is 36.11 kilonewton meter. So our bending moment diagram will be somewhere like this and this is the positive bending moment. You can use these formulas for the calculation of trapezoidal loading on simply spotted beam for reactions RA and RB you can use these two formulas and for the calculation of this WX you can use this formula and these are the general shear force equation and this is the bending moment equation. You can use them for the calculation and drawing of bending moment diagram and shear force diagram. These are our results. This is the problem and this is the free body diagram. This is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram with maximum bending moment of 36.11 kN meter. So this is our today's lecture. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel.